These are the absolute best fragrances in my collection. Oh my god. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. I was going to do a video today on my top 28 bottles. I had just all these random colognes back here and I kind of liked them in the background. Do these YouTube reviews and it's just nice having like a bunch of colognes back there. It lets you guys know that I know what I'm talking about. I was noticing that there were some fantastic fragrances that I just kept losing sight of. I kept not noticing where they were. So I decided to cut my fragrances into one of three categories. Top category, the best category. I really tried to put the fragrances that were the best of the best. There's a lot of fragrances that share the same DNA just because certain DNAs I find so luxurious and so great. In the future, I'm gonna try to limit these categories down to only the best of the best. And I'm gonna try to make this best category as small as possible for right now. It's 28, it's as small as I could get it. I know it's crazy, but these are the absolute best fragrances in my collection. If I had so many fragrances that I could not find these, I'd be very, very sad that these weren't always at the very forefront of the fragrances that I'm picking because these are the absolute best. And when you have so many fragrances that you can't find the ones that are actually good, that's time to either organize or cut down a few. So without any more rambling on, let's jump into the top 28. I'm just gonna grab the bottle, show you, say a few words, try to go through it a little bit quick so we're not taking too long here. From Happy Land Fragrances, Paisley Sky. This is the only Happy Land Fragrances that made it on the very, very tip top of my list. A lot of fragrances from Happy Land Fragrances made it into my top two or my second kind of category over here. This was the only one that really pushed it into the top number one. I don't know what it is about this fragrance, guys. I just really, really like it. It's very different. I haven't really smelled anything like it, and I just really, really enjoy it. Unisex, my favorite from Happy Land, personally. Babylon Fragrance is sacred. This is my favorite Babylon fragrance, and it copies Baccarat Rouge 540X straight very, very well. I really enjoy it. I've said a lot about it, and I still really enjoy it. Worth of being on this list. Essential Obsessions Virgin Island Water. Absolutely love this stuff. Comes so close to nailing the original. Something about Virgin Island Water just makes me feel good. It's so pleasant for any sort of heat sign of scenarios. One of the best tropical scents ever made and this is just a fantastic scent i was wearing this the other day i could wear this all summer central obsessions first on water an absolute beast i know this fragrance has, has been reformulated i haven't really dabbled in trying the new versions but i have the old version ch men Privé. absolutely love this stuff one of my favorite designers of all time one of the best dark unique designer scents out there that just smells very good it smells dark and it smells like a little bit unlike everything else that you've smelled out there just fantastic scent highly recommended i have yet to try the reformulated version but as far as this version for sure in the top category 100%. Vintage Fierce bottle number one. I have two bottles of Vintage Fierce on this list. So the next one, I'll just show you real quick and say bottle number two. Absolutely love this stuff, guys. I can wear this stuff all the time. It's transparent. It's sexy. It's musky. It does everything I want in a fragrance. This fragrance got me into fragrances and I could just, not everyone else feels the same way, but I could just wear this literally every day. And I just absolutely love it on myself and other people do on me as well. Vintage Fierce. So good. I Babylon Fragrances Tobacco Rojo with the messed up cover. Absolutely love this stuff. I'm supposed to copy Mancera's Red Tobacco. One of the best, strongest, sweet, unique scents out there. If you want something really strong, really unique, just overall with super, super strength, this is the one I'd recommend. Um, this is one of those ones where you could spray it on clothes and have it last maybe up to a week or longer. Um, I know one of my coworkers sprayed up this and washed his clothes and it still smelled like this afterwards. Fantastic scent, guys. I really, really enjoy it. Tobacco Rojo, one of the best, highly recommended from Babylon Fragrances. Babylon Fragrances, passionate. A Creed Aventus clone absolutely love creed aventus it's just such a good compliment or you can wear it all the time passion it comes very very close to cloning it um smells so good can't say anything bad about it very similar to club dino we intense man but i find this one better Overall, just can't say anything bad about it. Passionate, so solid. It's Babylon Fragrances Legend. This is my favorite Tobacco Vanille clone so far. Absolutely love this stuff, guys. It is fantastic. Very elegant, spicy, sweet goodness. Um, just a classic spice, very robust, very kind of like mature, but also a little bit likable at the same time. If you haven't smelled Tobacco Vanille, I highly recommend that you do. And I just really, really enjoy this scent. Babylon Fragrances Legend definitely deserves to be in the top. Parfums de Marley Herod, not a surprise here. The fragrance that got me into niche fragrances, one of the only bottles of a niche fragrance that I own for a good reason. If I had to pick one niche fragrance, only one, I may pick other ones besides Herod, but I absolutely love this stuff, guys. It reminds me of a darker, sweeter version of something like Abercrombie Fitch Fierce because it uses that ISOE Super. So it's kind of like a mix between Tobacco Vanille and Fierce in, in some weird way and does obviously a little bit of its own thing. I just really, really like this stuff, guys. Fantastic. 
fantastic. One of my favorites from Parfums de Marly and probably one of my favorites for a long, long time, Parfums de Marly Herod. It's so good. And in the same vein as Herod, Babylon fragrance is black. Now this fragrance comes very, very close to Herod. This one I'm kind of dancing if I wanted to put it in the second category or the third category, just because it isn't 100% like Herod but I still really, really enjoy it when I smell it. It just has just extra oomph of how much I really, really enjoy it. And it is one of those fragrances that I could spray through an extended period of time if I was in some of the cold or you know going through a little bit of dark situations because it is a little bit of a darker scent, but really, really, really good. If I had to pick one, I'd probably pick Herod, but this is still so good. I could not keep it out of the list so far. One of the only Herod clones I've ever smelled and they did it pretty, pretty good. Babylon Fragrance is black. Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce Intense, the 2016 version. This bottle's holding strong. I can't see how much I have left of it, so it may be all the way out or maybe like halfway there. I don't know. Really, really enjoyed this stuff, guys. One of the most expensive fragrances that I bought right off the bat. When I wasn't into fragrances, I bought this. I think I got it on sale for like $100, $110 or something super, super expensive. Maybe even like $90, I don't know. But it was a lot of money when I bought it. Really fantastic scent, guys. Kind of a more thicker, darker version of the original Fierce, but still smells so good when I was testing this. Although it has things that are kind of different from the original Fierce, which is what it was supposed to copy. It still is fantastic. Fantastic. Smells so good and it's got me unsolicited compliments. Fierce Intense. I do his version of Vintage Fierce. Not a surprise. Just did a review on this stuff, guys. Fantastic. Probably the closest you're going to get to the Silver Cap Abercrombie & Fitch Fierces. The classic Abercrombie & Fitch Fierces. Um, it just has a little bit of this nuances that reminds me of the Silver Cap. This one and Fierce Intense is so good, but this one has more nuances that are closer to the classic version. Super solid. Did a review on it and I still like it. Um, do as copy of Vintage Fierce. My Babylon fragrance is the one, one of my fragrance, one of my subscribers ended up picking this one up and he thought for sure this is gonna be my bab my favorite Babylon fragrance and I could see why. This smells like a really robust mix of um, Creed Aventus and Dior Sauvage to my nose. Two fragrances that are copied a lot, are very popular, very likable, but I haven't smelled too many that'll dance in between the Sauvage and in between the Aventus. Um, does it so well, kind of like a hidden gem for um, the summertime where you may encounter some Sauvage and, Sauv and Aventus, you have this to kind of um, really mix things up and get the best of both worlds. So, so good. Babylon Fragrance is the one. Mancera Red Tobacco. I actually bought this before I got into Tobacco Rojo. Um, super solid, maybe a little bit more spicy than Tobacco Rojo, but really, really enjoy this stuff. Pretty much the same things that I'll say about Tobacco Rojo I could say about this. Lasts forever, smells really good. Um, very robust. Um, one of the highest, strongest projectors that I could come across. This is getting into the higher um, the dollar amounts because this is an actual niche fragrance. This isn't really a clone house, but um, super, super solid. And I'm sure um, other fragrances out there. Yeah, highly recommend it, guys. Definitely check it out if you haven't. Um, one of the highest projecting sweet, spicy fragrances I've ever smelled that smells good for sure. All right, Dior Sauvage now. I mean, What's not to say about this one? I know it's been that uh, people have started to hate it. I don't know what it is. I just really, really like this one. I've liked this one for a long time. It still is. I don't know. I just really, really like it. And for right now, I can't put it down. Uh, one of the highest, you know, um, one of the fragrances that just makes me feel good and I think um, smells really, really good on me. Can't really say anything bad about it. I know a lot of people are going to hate me out for it, but Sauvage definitely had to put it in there. 2016 uh, Normal Fierce. I know this was kind of like after they started reformulating it, but I still really, really, really like this stuff. It has just a special vibe every time I wear it. I had to include it. Dolce & Gabbana's The One Royal Night is just so, so, so good. I love that The One DNA and this one puts a little bit more roughness, a little bit more manly quality into it. And I just really, really, really enjoy it. Same with the one EDP that's also on this list. So I'll just kind of show you guys when I bring that up and talk about it now. Yeah, just I just absolutely love this guy. It's one of my favorite designers of all time, one of my favorite date scents of all time. And it also smells so good that you don't really necessarily need to wear it for a date or a night out. You could just wear it anytime, kind of as long as it's a little, it's a little bit cooler. So Dolce & Gabbana is the one Royal Knight, so, so solid. Vintage Fierce Bottle number two, Su super good. You know how much I love this stuff. Club D Nui Intense Man, one of my favorites of all time, one of the highest complimenters of all time. Super long projecting, people have argued about it. Some people love it, some people hate it. I absolutely love it still. Still one of the best ones, easy to wear and gets compliments. 
so so solid had to include it do a fragrances casino royale nights now this is another baccarat rouge 540x straight clone that does it so good i absolutely love baccarat rouge 540 when it's done right in the normal and the extrait versions the extrait versions is a little bit more thick so you get more of that smell in the air and the normal versions is a little bit more transparent which provides a little bit more of like a muskiness and like um, a subtle sexiness but i just really really love this stuff guys thank you so much for providing this kurt one of my subscribers and yeah, highly recommended. Definitely check out Casino Royal Nights if you like Baccarat Rouge 540X straight. This is one of those fragrances that I actually kind of got lost in my collection and that's why I had to redo all these um, so I could make sure that I'm using all the best fragrances. Alexandria Fragrances Hawaii Volcano. Now I know that there's several different nuances to this one. I think there's Hawaii Volcano Intense and maybe even another one out there right now, but I really, really like this one, guys. This one smells a lot like Virgin Island Water, maybe a little bit more heavy on the lime, but I just really, really like this one. Same with um, Central Obsessions Virgin Island Water. I just really, really like both of them. Solid, I can't really say anything bad about it. One of my favorites from Alexandria and everybody else who tried it seems to think the same thing. Actually, I think this lasts a lot longer as well. Super solid Hawaii Volcano, very nice. Right, Central Obsessions Baccarat Rouge 540, the original Parfum version. Now, originally when I smelled this, I thought that it was a little bit weaker than the other straight versions, but I had to remember that the original Baccarat Rouge 540 is a little bit more transparent. I love this just about as much as the same as all the other ones, especially when I was wearing it. Um, the only thing I could notice the difference between the original Baccarat Rouge 540 is there's a little bit more of a simple vanilla sweetness, like 5% or less. Besides that, it smells exactly the same. Whenever time I smell it, it's just, man, do I love smelling, getting whiffs of this in the air. Fantastic scent. Absolutely love it. Central Obsessions Baccarat Rouge 540. Super good. All right. One that I just haven't really sprayed that much because I've almost um, sprayed a whole bottle and I don't even know if it's still relevant or they're still making it, but Aqua Dijon Profumo, super solid, man. It's how, how do you not include this one? in a top list it just covers all the bases smells good projects good all the whole nine yards super good highly recommended aqua di Gio profumo all right guys one that i was kind of on the fence about but i do really really enjoy it lana weed de Lome. now this one i mean obviously everybody knows about it. it's been hyped to death apparently the original version was a lot stronger but this one is just one of those sexy nighttime scents i think it leans a little bit more towards trying to come off sexy to a woman Verse at versus just being good for any time of night where I do think it's a little bit like I am trying to seem sexy in there but sometimes you want that and it does smell sexy it does smell good one of the best for nights out things like that um, can't go wrong with it YSL's Lana Weed Lone Dolce & Gabbana the one EDP I was just talking about the one Royal Knight um, but Dolce & Gabbana the one EDP so good so solid a little bit thicker than the original the one um, just a compliment getter. It smells so good, so pleasant, so easy to wear. Probably a little bit more easy to wear in more situations than Lana Weed Delhomme. Super solid. Dolce & Gabbana, the one, EDP. I was on the fence with this one for a second, but I had to include it. Jean-Paul Gaultier, Ultra Male. Absolutely love this stuff, guys. So good, so sweet, so sexy. Um, not very many niche fragrances smell like this. Not very many fragrances in general smell like this. Um, just one of those ones where... It's like people may not like it, but if they do smell it and they do like it, it's going to be probably one of the best things they ever smelled. People have said that, and I agree 100%. Jean-Paul Gaultier, Ultra Male. They say it's more for the younger crowd, but I've also heard people saying that they could pull it off when, it smell, when they're older. It just smells good, in my opinion. Jean-Paul Gaultier, Ultra Male. Chanel Allure Ohm Sport O Extreme. What's not to say about this one, guys? Absolutely love it. One of the best springtime scents. You could wear this scent all year round. You could spray it all year round. It's just got a really nice almost like out of the shower sexiness but at the same time has parts of it that's like cloudy and just has a little bit of the vibe that you don't smell in everywhere else and for some reason it shouldn't smell as good as it does but it does to me and it also delivers the compliments chanel lerum sport oh extreme so so solid the last one on this list sensual obsessions millicene imperial i actually really 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 like this one i've actually got two copies of millicene imperials from two different houses and this one was definitely number one i'm going to do a comparison coming up pretty soon because millicene imperial is a great great summer scent just absolutely love this scent i love millicene imperial this comes so close to it one of the best like summertime scents if you want some sort of subtle sexiness absolutely love it guys this has been my top 28 bottles let me know what you think of the video let me know if i should add bottles to the list if i should remove bottles from the list i kept finding other great bottles 
bottles to include the number kept going higher and higher but let me know which fragrances i should add to the list let me know which fragrances you didn't want me to put on this list i'll be very interested to see down below and let me know if of any fragrances you think i should try out that might even make this list guys we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without any of you guys help you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully you're having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace Dolce & Gabbana.